right, Dante's Boxing Nation, BoxingTalk.com, and I'm over here with the man, Sugar Shane Mosley. What's going on, man? Hey, how you doing? What's going on? All right, I want to uh, go ahead, if you could let the fans know exactly what brings you out here to the Cosmo in Las Vegas, man. What's bringing me out here today is, you know, my son's getting ready for his fight. It's going to be tomorrow uh, on the undercard of Brandon Rails and Chavez. It's going to be an excellent card and the Cold Man event. Uh, you know, I'm excited for him that he's getting a chance to fight on uh, pretty much a big stage of his career for a second fight. Uh, a lot of people don't get a chance to do that, but he, he is, and uh, I know that he'll uh, step up to the plate. Let me ask you, Shane, how hard was it for your son to make that transition into becoming a boxer since he started so late as opposed to you starting since you was at a very young age? I don't know if it was really, it was really hard for him because I really taught him all the, the basics and everything of, of how to be a, you know, a, a great fighter. Uh, so now all he had to do is just walk through the door and, and be, that, be that person that he want to be. And, you know, he has to do it. I can't do it. So, you know, it's exciting for me that he's taking up the trade and that he's uh, stepping up the challenge of being uh, one of the top fighters. Yeah. How did that first conversation take place when he first told you, or you, how did the conversation come up when he said he wanted well, to box? Well, when, first, when he first started, I started training him, him and my nephews when they were like eight years old here nine, and I started when I boxing when I was eight years old. And, uh, you know, I mean, he wanted to box, he liked it, but I think there was a lot of uh, energy around him saying, oh, you know, we need to box, you probably box, you're pretty boy, this, that, whatever. So, you know, go to school, do this, that. So, school is great. So, he went to school, this thing, but then he realized that he really wanted to be a boxer. He was like 16 years old. And uh, when he turned 16, I told him, I said, listen, you know, if you're going to do this, you're going to do this right. You're going to play with it. This, this, this is my world. I don't, I don't play. So, uh, he stayed to it very good. He's working very hard, and, you know, I'm, I'm proud of him. He's doing a good job. That's cool. And it's good to know that he actually wanted to do it himself. You know, he, it was all that he had to himself. He did not. As a person, or as a fighter, you can't do it for somebody else. You gotta do it for yourself. Yeah, yeah. And um, if he's doing it for yourself, then you just need to quit. I mean, if you're not doing it for yourself, then you need to quit. Do it for somebody else, your father, wherever else, you need to quit. Because it's not gonna work. Absolutely. Especially not my world. I'm not gonna let you do it. I, I hear you. I hear you. 